What is going on, good people of YouTube? I'm Jay Slay. Thank you so much for joining me, and wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day. Today we're playing some Madden 21, but before we get into it, if you enjoy the content, leave a like rating, and if you would like to see more, hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on to stay updated with all of my uploads. Our previous video, we had our MVP edition pack opening, and if you're interested in seeing that video, I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video. Well, as you can see from the thumbnail, today we are breaking down everything that is solos in Madden 21. Now, there's not a whole lot of solos right now as far as, say, quantity goes, you know, with the amount of different solos. However, you can really get some value from the solos that are in the game currently. So there's, I believe, six of them. You've got the Superstar MVPs, Team Affinity, NFL Epics, Level Challenges, and rivals so that would be five and then you've got your daily superstar MVP challenges that will reset each day so let's start off with the rivals solos so these are the easiest solos to do um, these are your beginning just kind of right into the game right into Madden 21 these are the first ones that you want to do now completing all of these solos here are going to get you a rivals master this can either be Jalen uh, Smith Zach Ertz or Ben Roethlisberger now these are pretty easy solos as you can see the first one that we're loading up right now you just have to gain five yards or rush for five yards once you complete that you're going to get a star for that you can see we got max stars you really want to go for the max amount of stars as you'll see in a second the more stars you accumulate you're going to get more rewards for these particular solos so as you can see just going through it here um, for the rivals solos uh, for the stars that you get you can unlock different things 62 overall players thousand coins 300 or I'm sorry 300 coins nat 70 overall players for 400 coins so not a whole lot really is in terms of you know what they offer individually but added up over the course of the entire solo you're going to get a lot of value from it now for the team captains so there's a choice of four different team captains this is Leroy Glover Aeneas Williams Eddie George and Ed McCaffrey once you complete each individual captain solo, you'll get a choice of the team captain that you would like to add to your team. Uh, this is where you want to, once again, from our previous video, look at some of the holes that you have in your roster, and you want to fill them accordingly with these team captains here. Any captain that you pick right off the bat is going to be solid. Now, Ed McCaffrey may be the best choice, but if you really feel that you've got some value in receiver or you see a receiver that you would like to target, you could go for a Leroy Glover or you could go for an Eddie George. You could go for a different, you know, captain, an Aeneas Williams that is going to benefit your team. Now, I'm not going to even edit this solo right here. This goes to show you just how easy and how quick you can complete most of these solo challenges this particular one you just had to complete three consecutive passes find an offense find a particular formation that has a good passing play i'm out of the miami dolphins playbook here running the split close they've got some really good formations to allow you to get some really easy completions and then you can just move on right you don't have to spend a whole lot of time you know doing these solos um, I've had the game for two days now I've been grinding these solos out for two days but it really hasn't when you take a, account the grand scheme of themes grand scheme of things it really hasn't taken me as long as maybe it seems when you're playing through them now we'll get into the new superstar MVP solos here in a second it felt like those things were never gonna end uh, but it really didn't take that long so once again once you complete the rivals um, the entire you know entire way through uh, you're going to get an option for Jalen Smith Ben Roethlisberger or Zach Ertz now let's go and take a look in the team affinity solos so these are a little different uh, these with your team builders they're gonna be full games now they're only three minute games I believe some of them may be four minute games but they're on arcade for the most part 
and you just want to win the game. Now, you can go through and do the extra star challenges to get two additional stars, but to get your choice of either an offensive or defensive 84 overall team builder, you don't have to do you don't have to get a certain amount of stars. You just have to beat the challenge. Now, I figured that out in a second, we're going to go back into the missions tab and we'll be able to see that. But I was able to figure that out by going to the missions tab. So if you're questioning what you have to do to get a certain uh, a certain item, go in the missions tab. It's going to tell you everything you need to know there. The uh, team affinity or the um, team diamonds rather are a little 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 more different, right, with the, the, the challenges that you have to complete there. Um, but those are going to give you an option to unlock five players that you can put in the set to get a Team Diamond player. Now, these are some of the milestones that you can get. 70 overall players. You can get some additional Team uh, Chemistry players or some Team players to help build you know, those Team Diamond sets. The thing that I really like is the NFL Epics. Now, these are uh, pretty quick. They don't take, take that long. Here's some of the milestones that you can earn for unlocking or for doing and getting uh, a certain amount of stars but what you have to do basically if you want Larry Fitzgerald or uh, if you want Ronnie Lott you just have to get 40 stars in their individual solo challenges once you get 40 stars you're gonna unlock their moment once you beat their moment you get their 85 overall card I believe is what each uh, each card is if I'm not mistaken Ronnie Lott may, may be 84 but nonetheless once you finish those you get their card you get that player <clears throat> excuse me you get that player towards your team so as you can see we've already we've already got Larry Fitzgerald on the team working towards getting Ronnie Lott right now uh, but nonetheless these are not difficult challenges either they didn't take very long I think in total the rivals maybe took me a couple of hours to do. Uh, this one maybe took me an hour or so uh, for Larry Fitzgerald, so not very long at all. The level challenges. These are where you're going to get a lot of value because your level master, Andre Johnson, is upgraded as you continue these level challenges. You also get coins. Um, so that's going to help, you know, obviously add, add to your bank account. These are not hard at all. They're only one star, so it's not going to give you a lot of stars. You don't really necessarily need the stars for this challenge, though. You're just wanting to go through them so you can get to the very end. And once you get to the very end of each individual challenge or each uh, set of challenges, you're going to get an item to upgrade Andre Johnson's overall. Now, um, you get these, you unlock the level challenges every, the first is uh, the first is level 7, the next are every uh, 11, and then, it's, sorry, it's level 18, then it's every 10 levels, so 28, 38, and so on and so forth. They just dropped the Superstar MVP, so we're going to touch on this real quick. These are the ones that felt like they were never ending. Now, they did eventually end, thankfully. Unfortunately, the Nat item that you get from it, the 85 to 86 overall MVP, whether it's Preston Smith, Mike McGlinchey, Tredavious White or Tyler Lockett, you don't get your pick from them. I was a bit disappointed by that. I feel like if it's a Nat item, you should get your choice. And I was telling myself the whole time, if I get Preston Smith, I'm done. I'm uninstalling Madden 21 from my hard drive right now. Now that didn't happen, but hey, guess what? I did get Preston Smith. Stuff happens. I put negative energy out into the universe, and it spits back some negativity. But as you can see, this is just kind of a little uh, preview of what some of these solos look like. A lot of them aren't too difficult. There's just a lot of them, and you have to end up getting, I believe, 127 stars. Now, one final thing I just wanted to retouch on was the missions tab. As you can see, if you go to the uh, Team Affinity missions, go down to the Team Builders, click on it, you'll see where all you have to do is complete the challenge. <clears throat> Excuse me. Complete the challenge or complete all 16 games you don't have to get a certain amount of stars to get that pack so you could put shoe clock on you can try to get through the game as quickly as possible and you're going to obviously set yourself up to get an 84 overall team builder some of them are pretty good so it may be worth your while to invest your time into doing these 
four minute games three minute games you can really knock out i'd say 16 of those probably in a couple hours it's not going to take you that long and you're always going to be working towards upgrading your mutt level you're going to be working towards you know getting getting other packs getting other coins for that so it's all going it's all good value right you're always going to be working towards value when you're doing these solos. Yes, they can be time consuming, but at the same time, they can really provide some good benefit uh, to your team. Definitely to a budget squad, to a no money spent squad, or you know, not someone who doesn't want to spend a lot of money on the game. So, but that's all I got as far as the solos goes. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Love interacting with you. Love responding. And anything that um, you know you, you, you have a question on, I'll do my best to answer it. Uh, but I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like rating. <laughs> I'm sorry that my voice... I've got to get used to doing these live commentaries because uh, my voice is wanting to, uh, to, to, to not work right right now. So... Uh, but anyway, if you did enjoy, leave a like rating, and if you would like to see more content, hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on, stay updated with all of my uploads. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the sets and ways that you can make coins from that in the next video. But guys, I'm Jay Slay. That'll do it for me today. Hope you have a great, great day.